Hey, Salaam Alaikum guys, it's your brother Ahmed Basal from Sydney, Australia. SubhanAllah, I was speaking to some friends in Palestine earlier today. They've actually had to leave their house uh, because due to a recent um, explosion, all of the glass shattered in their house, all of the windows got blown out in their house. And because danger was coming closer and closer to where they lived, they actually couldn't stay in their home anymore. They had to leave the house. They had to try to find a tent uh, to live in. And the saddest thing uh, about these friends of mine from Palestine is that uh, there's a newborn baby in the house. The baby's actually less than three months old. So I was just thinking about this family and trying to imagine what it would be like to have explosions happen around your house, glass uh, shatter, and then to have to go and find somewhere else to live. All the while, you're thinking about the well-being of a newborn baby. And it really just makes me feel like what MATW Project is doing is so incredibly important. Uh, you guys know that we have a team on the ground in Palestine. They've been there for years. We've been active in Palestine for years. And we've been showing you on our social media, food distributions, uh, trucks loaded with medical supplies, with bedding, with blankets. Um, and our brothers and sisters are going through one of the toughest things that we've ever seen. You know, we've seen Muslim people go through very difficult things in the last 10, 20 years. Uh, you know, and, and it's impossible to say what, what's more difficult than what obviously any kind of uh, fitna, any kind of uh, situation like this is difficult. Um, but maybe this is the most difficult one. I don't know. Uh, but um, regardless of of what we've seen and what's been the most difficult or what's been the least difficult, this, this situation is current right now. It's happening right now. Uh, and our Muslim brothers and sisters really need our help. So I really urge everyone to click on the links in our bio or go to matwproject.org because our team is, is still in Palestine, has been in Palestine for years, and our efforts to get supplies into the zones that they are needed to get food, water, bedding, clothing, medical supplies, uh, our humanitarian efforts um, uh, have not stopped. So uh, it is a challenging situation, but we have never stopped doing everything that we can possibly do to get uh, humanitarian food, water, medical supplies, blankets, hospital beds to the people that need it the most. Uh, I know we're all tracking the situation and we're all keeping up to date with news. I know lots of people are sharing news and, and trying to bring awareness to the situation. We really hope to see uh, a just and fair end uh, to everything that's happening everywhere and we we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, gives the help and the support and the patience uh, that only he can give inshallah in the meantime uh, none of us would like to be in that situation ourselves with our loved ones with our parents with our children and alhamdulillah we're not but we have to remain connected to what our brothers and sisters in Palestine are going through we have to continue to support them uh, through humanitarian efforts via MATW project as much as we can and that's why every single one of us has to remain connected to this cause and remain connected to, to saving lives in Palestine so I really urge everybody to click the link in the bio go to matwproject.org even if you give 5, 10, 20 dollars uh, you don't know it might be multiplied by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in such a way that that might be the thing that saves you from hellfire and gets you into paradise. It might be that all of the deeds that you've done in your whole life make one pile, but this one donation that you donated to the people of Palestine, it makes a much bigger pile. Just this one donation might be worth more than all the good deeds that we've accrued in our whole lives, inshallah. Please, please, please remain connected to Palestine. Continue to help Palestine. Continue to support MATW Project and our efforts to give people food, water, to support orphans, to give people uh, hospital beds, medical supplies, blankets and warmth. And let's save as many lives as we can, inshallah. We can't do it without you guys. We need your help. And so do the people of Palestine. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to let us see the best outcome to this situation and to all situations in the world where people are suffering and to help us be part of the reason that that suffering is alleviated and that uh, the world returns to a beautiful state, inshallah.
Thank you guys so much. Salaam alaikum. Are you done?